Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo Tutorial and I want to have a quick look at one of the new features in the new version of Affinity Photo which is version 1.9 sort of only came out yesterday um, now I, I do like a lot of the updates in the 1.9 version not least of all the text on a curve or a pathway which I should have been there from the beginning in my opinion but and also like this um, the new account thing where you can download uh, anything that you've brought in the past very good features now one of the features I saw in one of the articles about this new update was linked layers now I didn't know what that was so I had a quick look at the help file and I have only been playing around with it for about 10 minutes or so so if I get something wrong um, I apologize in advance so I'm going to use this picture here, which I got from Pixabay, and let's say I add an adjustment layer to that, and say curves, and I bring in the lines to the black and white areas. So I've made that adjustment. But let's say I wanted to add another curves adjustment and uh, you could just like duplicate it and make the adjustments as necessary but now you have this new linked layers option and you can surprisingly it's not in this layers menu but in the actual layer menu up here one of the options is duplicate linked and you click on that and it will duplicate that layer and as you can see there's now these sort of linked chains icons next to the layer now you do also help, it does help to have the linked uh, panel open it is not there by default so you'll have to come up to view studio and down to links and this will open up this floating panel which you could drag and put into here and keep it here permanently or if you don't want it all the time um, you can do it that way so this new curves adjustment is a copy of that curves adjustment and because they are all linked they will have the same pixel contents blending opacity etc so let's say this is the main one so if I alter this one it will alter the other one so if I have this on like the, at the moment it's on blend mode normal so if I just say make that overlay if I go to the second one that has also changed to overlay but if I didn't want this to be overlay what I'd have to do is unlink the blending mode range, click on that I could then put that back to normal and you'd have this one on overlay that one on normal but if I say for example lower the opacity of this one down to 46% this other one will be 46% because the opacity is still linked even though the blend range isn't. That does sort of give you an option to sort of tinker with the settings if you duplicate a certain adjustment. Um, if I try and put this one back up to 100, I'm assuming this one will also go back to 100 because they are linked. So that's basically what the linked layers does um, maybe you might want to keep the links tab in here permanently um, or just bring it up as and when it is needed um, so that is what I've learned in like my quick 10 minute or so fiddling around and looking at the help file uh, if you look at the help file for this I just put in like linking and uh, try and read through this and 
work out how it all worked. So that is basically my very quick look at linking layers. Um, and not so, I don't think you can sort of link a curves layer with say a levels layer um, because they have different attributes I mean um, they share things like opacity and blend mode but beyond that they don't link or they don't share the same sort of attributes so I'm not certain you could link these together well, I'm going by the help file that I read I couldn't see a way of doing it so I think it will only work on layers that are of the same type so that's about it really thank you for watching and goodbye